do I need to use anointing oil with a fragrance? Romans says, for if the first fruit is holy, the lump is also holy, and if the root is holy, so are the branches. And if some of the branches were broken off, and you, being a wild olive tree, were grafted in among them, and with them became a partaker of the root and fatness of the olive tree, do not boast against the branches. But if you do boast, remember that you do not support the root, but the root supports you. This speaks about the people of Israel, the Jewish people, who are not rejected by God. Some anointing oil suppliers make their oil with olive oil from the Holy Land. This is of course a beautiful prophetic image since we became the partakers of the fatness of their land. However, some people find themselves in such a bad situation that they cannot afford to buy anointing oil. If that is you, I want to encourage you today. It is not God's plan or will for your life to live in poverty. Every chain and every yoke of poverty can be broken over your life. It is not wishful thinking, it's reality. You can make it your reality by your faith in the word and the power of God. If you cannot afford to buy anointing oil, just go to the store and buy yourself a good brand of olive oil. Start using that to anoint yourself daily. Find out what it means to anoint yourself. Find out what the Word says about the anointing. Find out what the Word says about your situation. The enemy is a liar. The only security you have is found in the Word of God. If needed, just anoint yourself with pure olive oil, but start doing it. Show the spiritual world that your time of trouble is over. There is so much more to share about the anointing and the anointing oil. You know, a few years ago I was sitting here in this exact spot thinking, I should really quickly write a few studies about the anointing and the anointing oil. And I thought I knew most of it, most of what there is to know about these topics. At that point the Holy Spirit stopped me and said, there is more, there is more, but are you willing to go after it? I am willing to give it to you, but are you willing to take this challenge and to go after it? Well, I took the challenge. And I ended up with 345 verses in the Bible that speak about the anointing and the anointing oil. And the amazing thing is that it is not only the Old Testament that speaks about the anointing and the anointing oil. The New Testament actually says a lot about it as well. And now you can learn everything that I have learned throughout this journey, which took me a half year. because. After all my studying and taking all these notes, I ended up with a book called The Anointed Bride. Today you can order your copy and learn the same things that I have learned in that half year.